shall hear the sound. No, we're not speaking vanity. The earth is crying out for the manifestation of the sons of God. The earth is crying out for the knowledge of the Lord that has not yet been revealed. To be revealed through the sons and daughters of the Most High God. The earth is waiting to hear the sound. The earth wants you to keep it in check. The earth wants you to speak to it, to subdue it, to have dominion, to bring forth the resources. Have I gone mad? No. For was it not true that God sent a prophet to prophesy to the altar? Was it not true that God sent a prophet to prophesy to dead bones? Is it not true that God sent a prophet to prophesy to the wind and said, come from the north to the south to the east to the west? Was it not true that Moses spoke to a rock? Is it not true that he struck the water and the earth obeyed his voice? God says a new, a new dimension of faith is coming to the sons and daughters of the Most High God. A new dimension of prophetic utterance is coming. The earth is saying, will you prophesy to me so I can release the resources that America needs? I will not hear the sons of wickedness. I will not hear the sons of perdition. I will not hear the sons of unrighteousness or unruliness. I will not listen to rebellion, says the earth. The earth says, will you speak to me as Adam was given the power and the last Adam gave you that same power back. If you will speak to the fig tree, it will banish. If you speak to the mountain, it will move. The earth says, speak to me, speak to me, and I will yield a produce that is greater than you've ever seen. God says, I will bring the energy that you need and bring shame to the heathen nations that map mock and laugh the United States of America and the countries that have filled my name up and raised it to the into the air. Says the Lord.
Amen. He said, there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw the, I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these, these, they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire. And they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation. And it was coming, it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America, all throughout. And I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. And um, then I saw people interceding when he and I see him. I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great uh the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer. Great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the, um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff. But there would be a stop to it. And there things would start to, to, to break free, come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting. And then, and then, and then there will be a great economy crash. Yeah. I saw they had a great economy that. plan, a crash. Yeah. worse than the, uh, the uh, Great Depression. And the yeah. Lord warned me about this. It would be a great dark time. But I saw paddles coming upon America's soil like a shocking of the soil. And I saw Donald Trump praying in the office of the, of the Oval Office. And he was weeping before the Lord with his hands on his head like this, but he was weeping. And there was ministers and people. I don't know if they were senators or, or Congress people or whatever. They, I just saw them pacing and back and forth inside of the uh, the um, the White House and uh, I'm sorry the the uh, what is the White House but it's the Oval Office did, are they asking questions or something uh, yeah, I didn't say what happened they, talk, they don't know what happened of Trump oh he, he they try to kill him today they just a little bit ago the prophecy that I gave that his eardrum would bust and that they would shoot and miss and they would gaze his ear and his eardrum would bust it happened if anybody goes and googles it right now he was at a campaign rally and they just tried to assassinate him and I tried to warn everybody that this was coming I gave this exact word I even told you the ear that they would miss and I said it busted his eardrum and I saw blood flowing down his face and this is exactly what I saw and at a Lord, Trump rally. At a Trump rally, it just happened. It just happened. This just happened. That's why I'm going live to tell you that prophecy was fulfilled. The Lord spared his life, ladies and gentlemen. The Lord spared his life. Go Google it. It's all over the news. It's happening right now. They just they just try to take him out. Cancer has been around for a long, long time, and. The Lord spoke to me whenever I was praying and I, and he opened my eyes up in the realm of the spirit whenever I was praying and he, he said, Brandon, I'm bringing the cure for cancer. And I saw a man in a lab coat and he was pouring some stuff in this, this, this jar. And all of a sudden he got, uh, like, Holy Ghost revelation came on his mind and he saw this with this with this whatever it was I don't know I'm not a chemist he put it together and then he looked at it underneath the microscope and and he found by the Holy Spirit and the Lord spoke to me and he said this man is not even a born again Christian and he warned me and he said to me, he said, but Brandon, I'm bringing this to pass because people have cried out to me for, for, for a long time. And they have been believing for their relatives, people that have went home too early. This, is, this has been a plague on humanity. And the Lord said, Brandon, I'm bringing a cure for this. And he said, I'm going to put my, my foot on this. And he said, it will become like, like plagues of the past that were completely eradicated out of, um, 
basically we don't hear about anymore like leprosy it's not very it's not very common to hear about tuberculosis things like that that were very deadly in the in the early 1800s and all that all that time frame before they came out with the vaccinations and stuff um some of these these viruses and things that were were back then were were very very serious now not so much now you know i mean they have antibiotics and things for it and and it's able to be taken care of a lot easier so uh the lord told me he said this will be a preventative and a cure at the same time he said people will, can take this and and they will never even have it in their body and the people that have it will automatically uh it will just leave them okay and it didn't in the way he pre presented it to me when I was praying was it didn't matter what kind of cancer it was. It was that it would be gone and it wouldn't be a long drawn out process. It would just instantaneously start to turn the, the, the ship around, whatever was going on in that person's body when this thing comes out. And the Lord said to me, it would not be a medication. It would be a, it's like a supplement that's how simple. He said it is so simple. The Lord said it's not going to be something that is that is like, well, it's it's like way out there, the technology of this. He said, son, it's something so simple coming from the earth. And he said, whenever you put this and this together, like whenever they're going to put this these things together, he said it will create the combination that it would take just for the cure for whatever whatever the cancer that they are they're overcoming and the, the cells in their body but it's just like it's it's designed perfectly for it but it's divine from god does that make sense what i'm trying to tell you all I, i'm doing the best i can with this but i'm but but what i saw in the spirit was is that the lord um told me that it would become a thing of the past this would become a cancer would become a thing of the past and that there would be companies like, I'll be careful, um, government things that would rise up against it to try to stop it. But the Lord would put his hand on it to stop them. Because he said, this has been something that has been dealt with for too long. And he said, I'm bringing the, the cure for this, for humanity, to, to set them free from this. God's merciful. And so what I'm trying to tell you all is, is that he told me that he is given a supernatural wisdom to this, this man that was mixing stuff and it come on him. All I know is, is I hear things and I see in part, I hear in part, and I see sometimes years in advance. There's been times whenever he has told me to pray for companies that didn't even exist yet, that he wanted to come to pass. The devil don't want people to be restored and in health. Okay, he, his mission is to kill, steal, and destroy. But the Lord said, I have come that you might have life and life more abundantly. To, to the extreme, to it overflows. He wants us to live in the overflow of life with joy unspeakable and full of glory. God is a good God and the devil's a bad devil. And I need you to understand that, that there's good days coming too. Yes, there's dark days and yes, there's hard times because we're in the last of the last seconds before Jesus Christ comes back. But I'm telling you folks, there is an anointing on, on, on healing and deliverance and growing out limbs and, and creative miracles that we have not even yet to see yet that Jesus Christ is about to do on this earth with the last outpouring of a great revival that's about to hit this nation around the world. I'm telling you, Good days are coming. Blessed days are coming.